This was the scene today on the shores of the Aegean Sea, as people continue to flee war zones in the Middle East in search of that new and better life in Europe. Dozens more refugees were detained by Turkish security forces today as they tried to cross over to Greece from Turkey. That journey cost the lives of over 250 last month, a death toll greater than in January 2014 and January 2015 combined. The perilous journey many face is something the Chinese artist Ai Weiwei has made the centerpiece of his latest work. He opened a studio on the Greek island of Lesbos in January and today released this picture. A recreation of the image of Alan Kurdi, the young Syrian boy whose drowning last September shocked Europe and was a wake-up call for many politicians. But the strong emotional support from the German public now seems to be turning. And today the UN's human rights chief said he was deeply disturbed by the language of some politicians almost everywhere in Europe. It is utterly unacceptable that, that uh, politicians uh, can be um, so grossly irresponsible in pointing to the failings, the entire failings of a state and placing them on the, the backs, on the shoulders of those who have suffered enough. The political climate does seem to be changing, yet the destruction that has forced millions to flee Syria continues unabated. This may look like Berlin in 1945 at the end of the Second World War, but it is in fact Homs in Syria, 2016. Pictures from a drone set up by the website Russian Works show the near total destruction of Homs, the birthplace of the Syrian revolution that became a civil war that became a global nightmare. 